Hi everybody and welcome back to another vlog where we share everything that has happened in our life Lego-wise. This format of us capturing footage over a couple of days and not knowing exactly what will be in the next vlog is kind of new to us. And we're still trying to figure out how to do this in a good way so please be patient with us. We are learning by doing and hopefully the quality will increase over time. All right, let's get to it. We are quickly running out of space for our minifigures. I think we need to come up with another solution. I like these ones, but they are tiny. You can only fit about 15, 20 figures in them. And if they have a lot of gear and accessories like the Marvel and DC figures, it gets crowded really quick. And these guys don't even have a home to live in. Neither do these. And I've seen people using base plates and this type of brick, an angled brick, to build kind of a wall where the minifigures stand. And I'm trying to find out what the name of this piece is so I can order a bunch of them. Because I think that might be the best solution for now. But I also think that space in general is going to be an issue for us really soon because Lego, it consumes a lot of space, which we don't have at the moment. But first things first, I gotta identify this one. I'm looking at the pick a brick section of the Lego site and boy there are so many bricks to choose from. I'm searching for an angle brick. Maybe that's not the right keyword. Apparently not because there is nothing similar to what I'm looking for. But then again I'm only on the first page out of 27. And I think I found it! This has to be what I'm looking for and I want 150 bricks and now I'm trying to see if I can add it to a previous order to avoid shipping costs. So let's see what Lego has to say about that. But yeah, I think it's gonna work out nice once we get the brick. We're out to get a bite to eat and we stumbled across this store and found these. What do you think? I think they will be perfect to store Lego in. And they're only five euros and they have two of them. Let's go for the two big ones. Oh, that's cheaper. wonder why. A little bit smaller maybe. Let's get both. It's gonna work out fine for the next couple of weeks and then we'll probably need another solution anyway. Score! Whenever we're in stores like this, I'm wondering who is buying all this stuff? It's unbelievable. We are. <laughs> and exactly. Wow. You remember this guy? Oh, yes, I do. If you watch The Office, the UK version, you know just how great he is. And it's only two euros. It's still a little fun, though. <laughs> Everything that Ricky Gervais is involved in, it's funny. Yeah. Gracias. Hello. Hello, Ego. We got two new deliveries today, one from Amazon. And the other one is from Amazon as well. Do you know what this is? I know what we've ordered, but it's a bunch of stuff. So it might be Lego, it might be something else. No, it's something else. Oh yeah, this is a ro rotating display thingy. <laughs> rotating display stands. So yeah. we're gonna put our Lego uh, sets and they, it, it's gonna rotate and we can make great videos. That's the idea, yeah. Cool. And two this is, brick tower. Yes, it's sort of a base plate, it's not Lego, but these are the ones that we're gonna use to build our stand for the minifix. Oh, I see, great. But I didn't look that carefully when I ordered them. I thought they were a lot bigger. Disney. So that's actually a Lego set. I thought it was something else. What but did you cool. think it was? I thought it was a hard drive because this is what our old hard drive looks like. But then again, the package was way too big for being a hard drive. And you look, look kind of sad. Yeah, because the box is quite dented. That was too bad. We have the Walt Disney minifigure. Did you know that Walt Disney actually did the voice to Mickey Mouse in the first movies? I did not. This is so cool. This is so nice. But we're going to build this, right? Uh, we are now. I may or may not have ordered a second one this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got to build that one. This is the thing I am most curious about. Why is the tape open? It seems like it's been tampered with. We have a bed that you can fold up and you can store a lot of things underneath it. Love it. This is what I'm looking for. These are the cases that we bought. 
We got two of them and I've already started to fill up one of them. And I'm sorting by color because we don't have that many bricks. So let's get everything in here, in here. So this is everything sorted and I think it's gonna work out just fine for now. And I don't think we're gonna add a lot of pieces in the near future, at least not new pieces like these are, because the majority of the sets we buy, we're gonna keep unopened. But that being said, this solution is not gonna last forever. And the same goes for the way we store our sets. We've already outgrown the closet where we keep the majority of the new sets, which is here. And I think I'm gonna have to go through all the inventory here to see if I can get some more space to store more sets in. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to come up with another solution really quick. Thank you so much for watching. We are expecting a couple of more deliveries this week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to see what we get lined up. And even if you're not interested in new deliveries, hit that subscribe button anyway. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.